In the annals of American military history, few names shine as brightly as that of George Davis. A major figure in the U.S. Air Force, his story is not just about personal achievement, but also about bravery, sacrifice, and dedication to his country. George Andrew Davis Jr. was born on December 1, 1920, in Dublin, Texas. Growing up in a modest family, he showed early interest in aviation, a passion that would define his life. During World War II, he enlisted in the U.S. Army Air Corps, the predecessor of the U.S. Air Force, setting the stage for a remarkable journey. Davis quickly made a name for himself as a skilled pilot. His natural ability in the cockpit and his sharp instincts were evident from the start. He first saw action in the Pacific Theater during World War II, where he honed his skills and demonstrated his bravery. But it was in the Korean War that Davis would truly make his mark. The Korean War, often termed the Forgotten War, saw Davis return to active service. By this time, the Army Air Corps had become the United States Air Force, and Davis was part of this new era of military aviation. He flew the F-86 Sabre, a jet fighter that was the Air Force's answer to the Soviet-built MiG-15s used by the North Koreans and their allies. In Korea, Davis' skills as a fighter pilot came to the fore. He was not just effective, he was outstanding. By late 1951, he had achieved a remarkable feat, becoming a leading ace with a tally of 14 victories. Each victory in the air was a complex dance of strategy, skill, and courage, and Davis mastered this dance like few others. His most famous engagement, and perhaps his most daring, occurred on November 27, 1951. Davis led a flight of four F-86s on a patrol near the Yalu River, the boundary between North Korea and China. They encountered a large formation of enemy MiG-15s, a daunting challenge for any pilot. In the fierce dogfight that ensued, Davis exhibited extraordinary skill and bravery. He shot down two MiG-15s and dispersed the enemy formation, protecting his squadron and contributing significantly to the mission's success. This encounter was more than just a display of aerial skill. It showed Davis' leadership, his ability to make quick decisions under pressure, and his unwavering commitment to his mission and his men. His actions on that day earned him the Distinguished Service Cross, a testament to his bravery and skill. Tragically, Davis' career, marked by such incredible highs, was cut short. On February 10, 1952, during a mission over North Korea, Davis engaged with enemy fighters. In this battle, he was shot down and did not survive. His death was a significant blow to the U.S. Air Force and the nation. He was only 31 years old. Davis was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor, the United States' highest and most prestigious personal military decoration. This honor recognized his valor and leadership in the face of daunting odds. The loss of George Davis was deeply felt, both by those who knew him and by a nation grateful for his service. His legacy, however, lives on. He is remembered not just for his achievements as a pilot but also for his character, his courage, his leadership, and his unwavering commitment to his country.